We've just started cubing. And Mick's just hooked up. Now it's about an, what are we on, about 40 minutes to the tide change. We've come out, it's late afternoon. We've picked it perfectly because there's a tide change at 4.30. So we've come straight out and we're sitting on Browns Mountain here, straight off Sydney and straight into the action. A lot of guys go out really early, which is good, but in cases like this, why wait? Just come straight out on the fish. The important thing to do while he's fighting the fish is A, don't panic, and B, is keep cubing, because chances are it's not gonna be by itself. So if you keep cubing, you can turn a single hook up into a double hook up and keep the fish with you as long as possible. Even little ones like this. <laughs> this is my rod over the top, yeah. Good yellowfin. There's the other gaff. Jesus, what a. I can't believe that's a cheetah. Where's the other gaff? You're right with one? Yeah. Just it in a bit. Got the gaff in? Oh, he's been nailed by the shark. Well, this is unreal, guys. Go. Okay, here he is. <laughs> I got you, mate. Oh. Oh, guys, that's 55 kilos. 60. Oh, that's 60 for sure. 60. Well, that is a bloody beautiful fish. Well done, Mick. Well well done, don't mate. ever yeah. use light tackle again. Well done. Well, things have certainly changed. We thought we'd hooked up a maker at the start. It ended up being this beautiful big yellow fin line up the tail. Then the culprit who ate the tail is now at the end of that line. Of course, Mick, being the ex-charter boat captain he is, had to volunteer, because he loves sharks, and wind it up for us to keep it out of the trail, and hopefully he can get another one. So wind it up, Mick, get it there. <laughs> Done? Yep. Coming right up. It's a bit of chaos here. As you can see, our little sharky mate there has decided to do a couple of laps of the boat. So we're just going to bring him up. We don't want to add him to the menu, but we might. Um... Ooh, he's pretty tight, actually. As you can see, a little friend with teeth has just turned up. Now, you can have a. You can obviously can see with these guys, they can be potentially very dangerous. Just don't panic. You know, just keep it all right and preferably don't have him point him straight at the camera like that. But it's not too bad. Ugh. You can see here, see I'm not holding the trace too tight. So if it gets too full on, I can just let go. And if someone gets me some cutters, we'll cut this guy off and let him go and hopefully hassle another boat. Yeah, it's all right, I got it. In the water with that camera, mate. Ready to go? Oh, Jesus. Not... There we go. It's certainly been minutes of mayhem. One minute, Mick's fighting a 60 kilo yellowfin. The next minute, Mick number two is fighting a big shark. Unfortunately, the shark also decided to have a chew on the yellowfin. But you can't argue with that. 60 kilo fish, bloody beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>